everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a brand new lesson. This is Black History Month in February, so it's really important that we especially learn about artists who are African American, even though we should really be learning about artists from all different cultures all year long. But it's especially important that we do this in February. All right, so let's watch this slideshow. I have some pictures for you. So we're going to be learning about quilts from a place called G's Bend in Alabama. It's very far away from where we live. All right, so here are some of the quilts. So what is a quilt? I think you guys know the answer to this. A quilt is a blanket that goes on your bed, but it's special because it's made up of different pieces of fabric. Fabric is like what our shirts and our pants are made out of, right? So it's different pieces of fabric that are cut apart and then the artist or the quilt maker sews them together. And a lot of times a quilt has some really cool designs on it. So the quilts we're learning about today have some really neat designs. First, let's learn about where is this place called G's Bend. It's in Alabama. Alabama is way down in the south. It's pretty warm in Alabama. Here's Florida, right? This is where Disney World is. Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic are farther down. They're not even on the map. But here we are in Philadelphia. It's pretty far away. So it's here in Alabama. And it's called G's Bend because this river, it's called the Alabama River, curves around like this and there's a big bend. And where the bend in the river is, is where this area is called. Um, there was a family that lived there a very long time ago and their last name was G, G-E-E. -E. And they had a plantation and they owned slaves. That's really sad that they own slaves, um, but that's where the that's the name of the family, and that's what the land got its name from. All right, so it's called G's Bend, and it's famous for the people who make quilts that live there. All right, so here's one of the quilts. Super interesting. Um, a long time ago, um, when people were slaves, and then right after the people were slaves, um, they were very poor. They did not have a lot of money, and when they were cold, they needed to have a blanket to wear, right? But they couldn't just go to the store. They couldn't like go to Joanne Fabrics or Michael's and go buy fabric. First of all, there were no stores like that. And second of all, they didn't have very much money. So what they did is they would take clothing that was worn out. Maybe their jeans would have a hole in it or their dress would be kind of all worn out in the front. And they would use the back of the dress that was a little cleaner and not, not ratty or a different part of the jeans. And they would cut it up and sew it all together, and then they would have a quilt, and that would keep them warm at night or on cold days. So this is a woman, this is actually made not too long ago, about almost 20 years ago, um, long, long, long after slavery. It was when I was an adult. Um, this lady took her husband's clothing and a little bit of her own clothing here and sewed it all together to make this really cool looking quilt. And here's a picture of a group of ladies who live in G's Bend, who are working together to make this beautiful quilt. And here, um, at a certain point in time, around 2000 or 2002, um, somebody came to visit the town and saw all of these amazing quilts that were so beautiful. And he asked the ladies if he could put them in a museum and if he could sell them. And he sold them and the ladies who made the quilts started to make money from them and it became a business and a job. So here's one of the quilts hanging up in a museum. And here's one of the ladies who makes a quilt. She made this quilt. I'm gonna zip through lots of pictures, show you a whole lot of different quilts. That's the woman, her name is Mary Lee Bendoff. She made this quilt. Isn't that one fun with all the polka dots? I like that one too. There's another one made out of jeans. Um, this one is from 1976. That was before I was born. And oops, and that's when somebody noticed it, even before 2000. Some people saw it and wanted to put them in a museum. This is a famous painting of Michelle Obama, President Obama's wife, and she's actually wearing a dress that reminds us of the G's Benz quilts. Okay, I'm going to show you another video in a couple minutes. 